In a previous video, we modeled this coffee cup and then textured it in Substance Painter. And we looked at how to put this alpha on top here, but we weren't able to easily put text going around the side based on the way we UV unwrapped the lid. And so we're gonna have another look at this. If I come over here to Blender, this is the lid right here. And this is the, uh, the seams that we put in to do this. And to make it easy for us to put text, we really want the, the UV unwrap to have some straight pieces. So if I just U unwrap, this is basically what we had last time, except I moved this piece, which is the top one, into here and I scaled it up. Um, to do this, I'm gonna come around to the back and I'm gonna choose an edge or edges that are close to the back to help hide any seams. And I'm simply gonna open this up by, in two edge selections, select here. And if I come up to the top right here and I press and I hold down control and click, I get that whole edge right there. And this is really all that I need. I'm going to control E mark seam. So there it is there. That's a cut through there. If I now select this and go U unwrap, I get these pieces and these ones we can straighten. There's still some circles in there and that's fine, but we also have a few pieces that are going to be straight. Now to do this, I'm going to, go out of UV sync and select a little bit of this one and control L. And I think around the easiest way, or the easiest way to do this is to use the UV squares add-on. And I'm gonna click to grid by shape. Now you can also come in here and manually try to straighten them. All right, so we'll just do this. I'll straighten this one as well. And then we'll have a look at which one is which. Just do that. This one has a cut so I can straighten that one. Control L to grid by shape. And those are the main ones that we need. Now if I select this and use UV Pack Master to pack this or use Blender to pack it, I have this. Now I really actually want it rotated. Uh, I want these lines uh, rotate. So I'm gonna rotate 90. And uh, I may pack again, but just uncheck rotation enable. Just pack it like that. And to make it even easier, I'm gonna select a bit and I'm gonna GY and just move them out of the way. Like this, GY. So I have lots of room, GY. Now let's see what is what. So I'm gonna turn on UV sync. If I take this one, it's that one that part there this this thing here whether or not you want to put any text on there that's up to you i really want to put text on here so if i select this i can see it's it's this one right here that goes across so i'm going to be using that but i can i can increase the size of these if i want so for example this one i'm going to take again i'm going to move it actually maybe over here and oops and just scale it up as big as i can get it i could take this one and maybe move it in there now I can take this one and put it there. And that represents the top there where I want to put uh, some graphics there. So I've got this part and this part. Now this may be upside down. We'll find out in a bit, but there is the, the lid unwrapped. And I don't really need to make these much bigger. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And I'm gonna export this lid as an FBX. All right, here is the lid in Substance Painter and I've already baked the mesh maps. And now it's time to add materials. I've got this one blender material called Top One. I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna come over here, type in plastic, drag that over. And I'm gonna change this color to sort of a white color and maybe drop the roughness a bit. And, you know, let's say that's my basic material. All right, so I'm going to switch to orthographic and snap to top view. And we're gonna put that same graphic on there. So you can use a fill layer or a paint layer. I'll just use a paint layer for simplicity. The thing is, once you do it, you can't change it. Uh, you can't adjust these. So I'm just gonna pull that up to about there and find myself an alpha that I want to use. So I'm gonna use the same one that I used last time. Just bring that in, define it as an alpha, and I'll just do it to my current session. Double click and scale it up a little bit. And there is the alpha. 
And that was all we were able to do last time. And that's because if I come over here to the UVs, all of these were circular. I now have these straight pieces. So I'm going to create another paint layer. I'm just going to drop the height a little bit. And let's come over and type in font here and just choose a font. You can use a stencil if you want. Uh, I'm going to choose a font here and I'm going to type something like caution hot as you would possibly see. All right, so where do I want to put that on here? Well, there's a couple of things we need to do. First of all, the size, I'm going to decrease that and then increase it here. Now, if I want to do it in the UV window, you can see that I, it changes size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch here where it says size space to texture, and that should be a little bit better. So let's see which one it is. So let's come over here around the middle of this one and just type. Okay, we get that, and it goes all curvy and weird. So, and you can see it curving here. So we're going to work on that. So let's undo that. For alignment here, let's choose UV. Let's try it again here. Now we have it going around there. That's not where we want it. So which one is it? I have a feeling it's this middle one. Yes, it is. So let's now zoom in as much as we can. You can hit tab if you want to have a bigger workspace. And just roughly try to find the approximate middle. And maybe I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller may not be perfect but there we have the text going around all right if I had put it up on this one we would have the text there so you can do whatever you want really all right and you know maybe if that's upside down you could just turn this around to there and I may not have it exactly in the center it's just to show you all right, caution hot, or we can do it down here. It's probably upside down there, so let's flip this around. And we have it there. Okay, just to demonstrate to you anyhow how that would work. So come back to perspective. So we can now get our text going around there. All right, so the idea is basically that you need you know, a straight piece it's a lot easier to put your text there. All right, so just a little tip. I hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.